So friends, today in this video, we will discuss about how to calculate the net charge of a protein, a question which is uh, common in many different entrance examinations. So today, let us discuss how to solve it. I hope this will help you in solving such questions which are asked in entrance examination. So let us discuss about how to solve such a problem. So let us consider a polypeptide which consists of four different amino acids arginine, methionine, tyrosine, and glutamic acid. The question is like that uh, calculate the charge of this polypeptide at three different pH pH 3, pH 5, and pH 9. Okay. So before calculating the charge of this peptide at pH 3, we must know the pK value of the alpha amino alpha carboxylic as well as the ionizable group present in the side chain of this amino acid so in many questions uh, in many different places you will find the pk value is given but in again in many places you will find that they did not give you the pk values so you have to learn the pk values of all those amino acids so the pk value of the alpha amino group of arginine is 9 the amino group the ionizable ion amino group present at the side chain of the arginine is 12.5 again the ionizable group OH of tyrosine is 10.1 and the CWH carboxylic group which is also the ionizable group of glutamic acid is 4.2 while the alpha carboxylic group has a pk of 2.2 these are the pk values of the alpha amino carboxylic group and the ionizable side chain now we need to calculate their charge so the question asks calculate the charge at ps3 so at ps3 we need to see that the solution of the ph3 so one thing that you need to follow here is that the ph of the pk value and the ph of the solution if the solution has a ph greater than pk then then the amino group or the carboxylic group or any other ionizable group which is present at the side chain will have the tendency to donate the okay so if the ph is greater than the pk then we will see that p protonation again if the ph of the solution where the question asks you to calculate the charge is less than the pk of a solution in that case the molecule will not donate its proton it has a tendency to accept the proton so here no deprotonation will occur if the ph is less than pk now look at the side chain and the alpha amino and carboxylic group of all these amino acids at ps3 so let's start with arginine at ps3 The charge of arginine will be the alpha amino group has a pk of 9 and the solution's ph is 3 so 9 is greater than 3 so the pk is greater than ph okay so in that case protonation will occur that means this ns3 will not be donating its h plus instead it has a tendency to accept the proton but it will not donate its h plus so it will have a positive charge because nitrogen has a valency of three but here we can see that nitrogen is linked to four different atoms one two three four so a positive charge is here so we will write arginine has a positive charge for its alpha amino okay now now in the side chain we can see here that again ns2 is present the pk value of this ionizable group is 12.5 which is greater than ps3 so we have said that the pk if greater than ph it has a tendency to protonate that means it has a tendency to accept an instead of donating so here it will also have a positive charge so arginine has two positive charge at ps3 methionine now methionine alpha amino and alpha carboxylic group is involved in peptide bond and it has no ionizable group in its side chain so for methionine it has a zero charge 
Now in tyrosine again the alpha minus and alpha carboxyl group are involved in peptide bond, but it has an ionizable OH group in its side chain. The pK of this ionizable OH group is 10.1, which is again greater than pH 3. So pK is greater than pH here, so it will not be donating its H. But since the valency of oxygen is satisfied too so we are not getting any positive charge okay now in glutamic acid we can see that in its side chain group the pk of the side chain group is greater than ph 4.2 so it will not donate its charge but its alpha carboxyl group has a pk 2.2 so this pk is less than ph 3 so for pH greater than pK, that means 3 greater than 2.2, deprotonation will occur. That means this carboxylic group will do its H and as a result of which it will gain a negative charge. Okay. So glutamic acid will have a negative charge. So glutamic acid will have a negative charge and arginine has two positive charge. So the net charge will be you at this pH will be okay. so at pH 3 the charge of this peptide is 1 because we are getting 2 plus charge from this arginine this OH is neutral so 0 charge for this OH again this the double OH it will be not donating its proton so neutral charge for here Again, for this glutamic acid, since this C double OH has a pK greater than pH 3, so it has a tendency to accept. So, again, the side chain of C double OH 4.2 is greater than pH 3, so it will have the tendency to accept proton, but its alpha carboxylic group has a pK less than the solution, so it will donate its proton, and as a result of which a negative charge will be developed and the net charge will be. 2 minus 1 equal to 1. This is for PS3. PS3 the net charge is 1. Uh, the net charge is pH 5. So the net charge at pH 5 will be at pH 5. The net charge will be again. Let's start with arginine. The side chain amino group, sorry, the alpha amino group of arginine has the 9 pH as pK of 9. Sorry, again, let's start with your arginine. The alpha amino group of this arginine has a pK of 9. Now, 9 is greater than 5, so it will have a tendency to accept proton. So, a positive charge will be seen because nitrogen is linked to 4 different atoms. Now, again, for the side chain amino group, it has a pK of 12.5, which is greater than your pH 5. So a positive charge will be shown here. Again, tyrosine OH is neutral. So and and its pK is greater than pH five. So it will be showing no charge, or it will be electrically neutral, or it will be showing zero charge. Now this glutamic side chain, which has a pK of four point, which is less than five. So in this case, it will be donating its H plus, and as a result, a negative charge will develop here. So it will be showing negative charge, and for its alpha carboxylic group, which has a pK sorry, which has a pK of 2.2, which is again less than pH 5, so it will also donating its H plus. So we will see 2 minus for your glutamic acid. So in this case the net charge is 0. So in my next video I will I will tell you how to calculate the isoelectric point. So at this particular pH this protein will neither move towards your anode nor cathode. So at pH 5 we see that the net charge of this protein is 0. Now at pH 8 again at pH 8 we can see that it will be same as 
PH5 because we will getting two positive charge for arginine because both of the pK of this NS2 is greater than 8 12.59 again uh, 0 for uh, your tryptophan because its pK is also greater than pH8 again two negative charge for this two carboxylic group of glutamic acid because their pK is less than pH of the solution so they have that energy to donate proton so we will be getting zero charge but what if the question has to calculate the charge of the protein at pH 11 so what would have been the case so if the question asked to calculate the charge at pH 11 in that case let's start again with arginine so pH pK is 9 which is less than your pH so that means the this NS3 will donate its proton okay now lose its charge positive charge it now become NS2 because it will donate one of its proton so zero charge for this side chain amino group again the sorry for this alpha amino group again for the side chain amino group which has a pk of 12.5 which is still greater than this 11 so it will be showing its positive charge because it will not be donating its proton instead it will be accepting so it showing its positive one charge cryptophan will be neutral no cryptophan has a pk of 10.1 so this h plus will be donated when this S plus will be donated, then this O will be displaying negative charge. Okay, so a minus one for tryptophan. So for, for tryptophan, uh, S plus will be donated and oxygen will be uh, showing negative charge. Okay, now again for this two carboxylic group of glutamic acid, both 2.2 and 4.2 is less than your 10 point, uh, is less than your pH 11. So we will get again two negative charge for this two carboxylic group, and our net charge will be a minus one, minus one, minus one, minus three plus one, which is equal to so at pH eleven the charge of this peptide will be minus 2 so i hope you guys have explained the entire part to how to calculate the charge in my next video i will discuss about how to calculate the isoelectric point or at which ph the protein move towards anode or cathode okay so i hope you guys have understood the concept so please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you